fly. We are going to be talking about secret of outpouring of the Spirit of God. Joel chapter 2, verse 28 to 29. I want us to read together. One to go, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dream. Your young men shall do all. They will see vision. 29. And also upon the servant, upon the handmaid, in those days will I pour my spirit. He will do what? I'm not hearing you. I will pour. When we say pour, somebody say pour. That is what we call outpouring. Outpouring means to flow out rapidly like a flood. It means to pour out. It means a rapid flow. It means overflowing. May the Lord pour His Spirit upon you. Look at me. If I drip my hand into a bottle of oil and I touch your head, that is what I anoint you. But if I carry the bottle and I put it on your head, what am I doing? I'm pouring. If I touch the oil and do it like this, people can enter. They will not notice anything. Am I right? But if I carry the whole bucket and pour it on you, what will happen? Everybody will know it. So when the spirit is poured upon you, the whole universe will notice it. The whole universe will do what? They will notice it. In the name that's above every other name, may the Spirit be poured upon you. Ah, may the Spirit be poured upon you. Family Lifeline. Hi, good evening. My name is Pastor Daniel Ola, and if only called P. Daniel, I want to specially invite you to Youth Fire Conference 2023, powered by Family Booster Ministry International. It's going to be an experience you can't afford to miss from the 27th to 28th of January 2023. 24-hour encounter with the Lord. Outside by Pastor Bissi and Yomi and Dewan It's going to be an encounter you can't afford to miss. It's going to be a prayer conference, fire conference, word conference, power conference with the team Fire and Booster. I'm going to be ministering their life with other anointed men and women of God. Don't miss this encounter at the Glory and Nothings or the Glory of Redemption Camp. You can't afford to miss this conference. I will see you there. Family lifeline. There are three levels of Holy Ghost in us. I have Holy Spirit. You have Holy Spirit. But there are three levels. There was a time Jesus breathed on his disciple. Before he left, he breathed on the, on the disciple. But still, when he left, he said they go to Jerusalem and wait for the promise of the Father. But he has breathed on them. What happened? They have level. Level one is called inspiration level inspiration level of the holy spirit inspiration level of the holy spirit job chapter 32 verse 8 shall we read it together but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty giveth them understanding please look at me when you see pornography and you close it who give you inspiration to close it is it devil? Is it your flesh? You know, devil, we want you to see it. Your flesh, we like to, feel, to see it. Am I correct? What makes you to do it is what? Inspiration. Anything that makes you to do anything righteous is not the spirit of the devil. It's the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that gave you understanding that this thing is bad. Anything that says, pack your bag and go to church. That meeting they are having in the Kedja today, go and attend. It's not the devil that has you to come today. So you all have Holy Spirit in you. I want to make this foundation so that all of you that think you don't have Holy Spirit in you, you have. Say, I have. Talk to me. Say, I have. 
Say, I have Holy Spirit in me. Do you want to do something bad? One spirit will tell you that that is not good though. Which spirit is that? It's not the spirit of the devil. It's the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. So the Bible said there is a spirit in man and the inspiration. We have a spirit that is the spirit of man. But there is inspiration of God. The spirit of God will inspire you. We take over the spirit of man. Then you will now have understanding. Then I say, this is sin. I'm running away. This is a married man. I can't marry this. It's the inspiration of man. Some people will be doing something stupid. We say, are they stupid? Are they mad? In the morning, you will see somebody carrying um, cigarettes with this um, uh, gene. Early in the morning, that is the first thing. Despite the fact that in the packet of the secret, they wrote that what? Smokers are liable to die young. Because there is no spirit of God on their spirit that will inspire them to give them understanding. They thought that that statement is just part of the advertisement. They won't see it or they don't understand it. When you made the altar and said, I have decided to do, to, to, and you came to the altar to give your life to Christ, who helped you to come out? That's the Spirit of God. That is the level one. It's the inspiration of God. It's a good level to be, but it's a bad level to stop. It's a bad level to do what? To stop. The second level is baptism level. Is the baptism level. Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. The first level is when God begins to inspire you. Do this. Do that. You may not hear. You just know that this thing is wrong. Because the inspiration of God is giving you understanding. Shall we read this one together? The Bible says, I indeed baptize you with what? With water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me, is mightier than her. Whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with what? With Holy Ghost and fire. Holy Ghost and fire. Family Lifeline. Many of you have been baptized with Holy Ghost, but you were never baptized with fire. At the time, you know what? Holy Spirit baptism is for your personal use. By the time you get the fire baptism, you don't need to tell people before God begins to use you for them. Because fire baptism cannot domicile in you alone. It will flow out. You can't bottle fire. It's not possible. It won't allow you to sleep. It won't allow you to rest. You don't carry fire of Holy Ghost and go to bed. If you can't carry it, the first way to know when you carry the fire of Holy Ghost is it won't allow you to sleep. You may pray till daybreak. And it will be as if you pray for 20 minutes. And your prayer will not be, Holy Spirit, give me bread and butter. No. God will just be telling you, pray for Adeboye now. Pray for Kumuye now. Now pray for people in Togo that are in the mission field. Pray for somebody in, in, in Congo. Pray for some, you begin to, and you will begin to pray. And you will enjoy the fellowship. So the second level of the Holy Spirit is what? Baptism level. That is when Holy Spirit now descend on you. He reside on you before. Now he's descending on you. The one that is inspiration may not be there forever. It's like Old Testament, Testament, where the Holy Spirit will just come inside of them. That was inspiration level. That's why at times, that inspiration level, you can keep it short and do the bad thing you want to do. And do the bad thing. Holy Spirit will say, it's not bad. It's, I mean, it's not good. Don't do this. You just ignore. You just ignore. Holy Spirit may be inspiring you to preach inside the bus. You just ignore it. You want to open your mouth before you see the face of the conductor. Then you just ignore. But when baptism comes, you can't resist it. May you receive the baptism of Holy Ghost. It's at this level you can speak in tongue. It's at this level you begin to see signs. 
It's a bit level. When the baptism of Holy Ghost come, it will come with the signs that you are baptized. That is why when you are at inspiration level, people always doubt it because there is no sign. If I say how many people are baptized with the Holy Spirit now, you will see the few number of people that we that we raise up their hand. But before we leave here today, you will be baptized in the Holy Ghost. So what is the first level? The first level is inspiration level. The second level is what? Baptism level. The third level is outpouring level. Outpouring level. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3. I want you to look up as we read it together. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3. It says what? For I will pour water upon him that is what? That is thirsty. Uh huh. And flood upon the dry ground. Uh huh. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon, upon thy offering. He says, I will pour water upon whom? Upon whom that is tasty. And what we do? And flood upon the ground. That is to say, when you receive the inspiration of Holy Spirit, that one comes naturally. For baptism, you need to ask for it. But for outpouring, you need to work for it. You need to work for it. Baptism, don't demand. Lord, baptize me with Holy Spirit and we come. But for outpouring, you must work for it. There are things you must do. It doesn't waste it's outpouring. You must be a thirsty soul. You must be a dry land for him. That's why immediately many people are speaking in tongues. They are very happy. No more thirst. No more more of God. And if you stay on baptism of Holy Ghost for too long, you begin to get back to inspiration. You can even lose him. You can lose touch with him. You can lose touch with him. So he said, I will pour water. I want you to say, Lord, pour water upon me. He said, upon him that is thirsty. How many of us are thirsty? With you and say, I'm thirsty, O Lord. Feel my heart, feel my soul, feel my soul. Well, then when you have the outpouring, that's another level. You can have the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and you will not be known among the crowd. And you will be known. Your age does not matter. Your gender does not matter. Your family will know you. The church will know you. The church will know. People will know. They will know you in the crowd. It will flow through you. Whatever you touch, it prosper. Wherever you go, light shines in darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend it. Whenever they mention your name in the darkness, will fire burn in the place, because you are at outpouring level. What are the things outpouring will do for you? John chapter sixteen verse thirteen. It will give you guidance and direction. Guidance. The Bible says, "The Spirit of Truth has come; He will guide you into all truth." When you have the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, everything you need to know, Holy Spirit will begin to guide you. You see, as a young one, make sure you get thirsty. Stage by stage, level by level, He begins to direct your life. As a young man, He told me who to marry. He told me who not to marry. He told me how to go. He told me what not to go. He told me the prayer to pray for my wife. When He has answered the prayer, He told me to stop praying for my wife. That is now to start praying for my children. As at that period, we have not met. Stage by stage. I will be in examination hall. He will tell me, you have not read this. Go and read now before they bring the paper. That's outpouring. That's not inspiration. That's not just baptism. But I told you, inspiration will come on its own. If you want baptism, you must do what? You must ask for it. If you want outpouring, you must work for it. I will tell you the work to work for it now. Number two, you will receive power to witness. You can't have outpouring and find it so difficult to preach the gospel. Fear will disappear. You will not be afraid again. The power of God descend down upon you. That's what we call fire in my bones. And that's what we are doing on 27, 28 of January. You want to put fire in your bone? You become restless. You become restless. You don't like seeing all around you. People know in your office, no, 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 she won't take it. The fear of, if I don't follow them, they will demote me. Because you know that anybody that demotes you will die for you. You know it. 
But don't DM me up because they know you. Family lifeline. Somebody say outpouring. Somebody say outpouring. Somebody say outpouring. There's a level you go to, people stop arguing with you. Yes, they stop arguing with you. They stop arguing with you. Because you will be telling them what they don't know about themselves. They stop arguing with you. Ah, get to that level. Yeah. You know, when you are still fighting your wife, you are, you are keeping money with each other. It's because there is no outpouring on you. Because send me money. You that spend seven hours. We, 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 even if they slap you, it will not even be painful. You won't know that they slap you. When people, the Bible says if they slap you by the right, turn to the left. It's only people at the outpouring level that can do that. They are the one. They are the one. When Moses got to the outpouring level, people look at his face. They cannot behold him. Even in the Old Testament. They cannot behold him. When the outpouring level came upon me, I wrote book for mother-in-law when I was not yet married. And he was, he was dictating them one by one. One by one. I was not married. I wrote the book in 1998. I got married in 2002. In 2002. When the Holy Spirit come upon you, you do extraordinary things. You disappoint your flesh. Yes. You walk beyond you. You surprise yourself. The first time I lay hand upon somebody and the person felt I was looking at my hand like this. What's wrong? What's wrong? I put a little bit by another person felt. What's wrong? What? Because it's not you. It's the power of God in you. Receive this power now. Somebody say outpouring. Somebody say outpouring. Somebody say outpouring. Raise up your two hands and say, Holy Spirit, pour upon me now. Pour upon me now. I am available. I am available. I am available. I am available. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Young ladies, you got married. Your mother-in-law will be calling you madam because they can see the power of the Lord. No, yeah, 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 yeah. They can see the power of the Lord. Well, one of her mommies in those days, uh, she got married to only son, only child of a woman. The woman was almost 80 by the time they got married. So when they finished their wedding and they were going for honeymoon, mama entered into the front of the car and pursued the best man and said, where are they taking my son to? We are going together. So they have to cancel the honeymoon. Young wife was disappointed, but she carried the power, enormous power of the Lord. So they have to return home, and Mama started living with them from that day forward. She did everything to frustrate the wife, but the wife was not frustrated. The wife was not frustrated. Hmm. It got to a stage. One day, Mama wanted to bathe. Mama said, I noticed that any time you pray on my water before I bathe, my arthritis normally disappear. From today, anytime I want to bathe, you must pray on it. Anytime I eat the food that you pray upon, I discover that I normally sleep better that day. That's somebody that is cooking out of outpouring of the Spirit of God. Say, so from today, if you are going out in the morning, you must cook my breakfast and lunch and come back to pray to cook my... And the first two you cook, you must bless it in my presence. Because I will not eat it all. One day, man said, I want to follow you to your church today. She died at the age of 96 after giving her life to the Lord Jesus Christ. For a woman that had the heart pouring of God upon her life. If not you, you'll be frustrating your mother-in-law. You'll be fighting. It's because you are not having a pouring of God. Many of you are even praying that your mother-in-law should die. No, she's your comfort. She's your what? You lay hand on mama. Mama fell under anointing. Yay, on your wedding day. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think all the in-law will do? They will start worshipping the wife. Receive the outpouring. In the name of Jesus. Number three, you have perfect protection. Perfect protection. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10, the Bible says, be strong in the Lord. It means to be empowered. 
to be strengthened. It is the picture of someone who is weak but made strong. This is what you need. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Be strong. Somebody say, I'm strong in the Lord. The power of the Lord descended upon me now. Now, I told you inspiration will come by by what? By spirit. Immediately you move closer to God, you will be inspired. But baptism will come by what? By asking. But outpouring will come by what? By walking for it. By walking into it. You have to work for it. It doesn't come naturally. You don't just wake up one day and say, and just experience the outpouring of the Spirit of God. No. Family Lifeline. Hi, good day. My name is Pastor Daniel Ola, and they finally called P. Daniel. I want to specially invite you to Youth Fire Conference 2023, powered by Family Booster Ministry International. It's going to be an experience you can't afford to miss from the 27th to 28th of January 2023. 24-hour encounter with the Lord. Also by Pastor B.C. and Yomi and Dewan It's going to be an encounter you can't afford to miss. It's going to be a prayer conference, fire conference, word conference, power conference with the team Fire and Boss. I'm going to be ministering their life with other anointed men and women of God. Don't miss this encounter at the Glory Arena Teens Auditorium Redemption Camp. You can't afford to miss this conference. I will see you there and I'll leave your life to the last week. God bless you. See you there.